Hello and welcome to the tavern. My name is Jay and we'll be playing some Metal Gear Solid 2. Because why the hell not? I'm actually gonna take some stickers off right now. The stickers aren't any fun. I probably also skip this. New game. Oh, right. New game. Um, we'll do normal. Radar type 2. The Hudson River, two years ago. We had classified intelligence that a new type of metal gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses had been out in the cold too long. Letting the cutscene play out. So this is like my first time actually playing the game in like I want to say years. Like the last time I played this game, but I only remember playing it once. I have beaten it, but I played this when I was like. I think it should have been around the time it actually did come out. Maybe like a few years after, while the PS2 was still actually like fully relevant. Which I, I don't know. I think I yeah I, I must have played it. I must have been, I think, 11 or 12 when I played this game. Which meant, you know, as a stupid child, I had... Literally, as a stupid child, I knew none of the themes of this game. And I... I'm like, now where I actually look into the game. It's funny how back then literally everybody hated me because you weren't Snake. And it wasn't until after like years after it releases that people actually understood the game. Rumbly. Yeah. Game. With the manual and everything. Oh boy. He's right on schedule. Excited. The 
this is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? I'm at the sneak point. Everything going okay? Mm, stealth camo's busted. Landing impact. We must have overused it. Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. You're not in the military anymore. Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. The private sector's not so bad, is it? Privacy guaranteed? I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. You mean that thing with Naomi? And I can't say I miss the chattering nanny. Mei Ling's not so bad. That reminds me, I have to get in touch with her again about that new Natick flashware. Diverting toys from the SSCEN again? Look, give her a message from me. Someone will find out, sooner or later. She's better off assuming it's sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. Okay, Snake, let's get to work. You know how the technical my, uh, specs of Metal Gear were sold on the black market after Shadow Analog Moses? Fits. All Ocelot's doing. Exactly. And now every state, group, and dot-com has its own version of Metal Gear. Not exactly a classified weapon for today's nuclear powers. This new one seems to have been designed to wipe the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious, anti-Metal Gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. The mission objective is to make visual confirmation of the new Metal Gear being transported by that tanker and bring back photographic evidence. But I want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure, to the bridge. We need to find out where the tanker is headed. A little reconnaissance, huh? There's too much we don't know about this new prototype. Capabilities, deployment method, we don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing arena is, I can start to draw some reasonable conclusions. All right, I'll head to the bridge ASAP. Try to avoid confrontations. Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't worry, I know the drill. We're not terrorists. Very good. Don't you forget that you're part of Philanthropy now, an anti-Metal Gear organization and officially recognized by the UN. Recognized, but still fringe, Otacon. All right, let's look at your gear. Your weapon is a tranquilizer gun converted from a Beretta M92F. M9? It's a little hard to work with because you have to reload after each shot since the slide locks. Better than scavenging at the mission site. Good suppressor, too. The chemical stun will take effect in a few seconds and last for hours. You can take down an elephant with that thing. Check out the laser sighting, too. The effects of the anesthetic round will vary depending on what part of the body is hit. We're talking about a difference of tens of seconds between hitting limbs, chest, or head. As for the equipment... Hey, Snake? Cigarettes? What's wrong with you? It's kind of a lucky charm. You haven't read the Surgeon General's warning, have you? Here's the digital camera. Works almost the same way as your old one. They don't look armed. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice, upstanding Marines, not terrorists. Don't get caught. You're in stealth mode here. Sure, and if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Otacon, are you sure of this intelligence? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. No traces? Oh, please. I'm too good for that. But this might be a trap. Remember, there's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. I hope so. Those men, you wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. With all the ships passing on the river and in the harbor, putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. People can get a clear view of the water from Riverside, too. The water line is too high. According to the navigational plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops, too. Security should be tighter. You worry too much. Where's the target? Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. I'd say the cargo holds, safely below the deck. Do you see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. The chopper.
hope we're not the only ones after Metal Gear tonight. Is that a chopper I just heard? Affirmative. Probably another cavalry. What's their game? Hijack? They're probably targeting the ship's controls. Otacon, how many men do you need to take over a tanker of this size? The ship is run by a computer, so I'd say about 18 people. There should only be 18 Russians. people here. You sure? No marine barber touched that head of hair. I'm transmitting a photo. Let's get an ID on him ASAP. I'm on it. Looks like the tanker's theirs now. It's only been 11 minutes. K60 Kasatka. Kasatka? Kamov Chopper, right? Killer whale. Oh, look, I get the We need to get a game. fix on who they are. Judging by their transport, aren't they some kind of military commandos? Not necessarily. It could be the KA62, the civil model. Look, Snake. All we need is the photographic evidence of Metal Gear. As long as we have those, we can put it online and blow the whole thing wide open. So no pyrotechnics, okay? All right. I'll do my best. This isn't like Shadow Moses. Reach me if anything happens. The frequency's 141.12. How can I check in and save my progress? I'll do it. There's a frequency set aside for it. 140.96. Sorry, but no Mei Ling this time. Call me on the codec when you want to save. Got it. I'll be waiting just past the Verrazano Bridge. You need to be off that ship by then. I'll be in touch. Okay, finally. 13 minutes in and I finally get game for That's how I do that. Oh, that's, that's me shooting. Okay. So I'm getting I'm getting, I'm getting reused to the controls. Alright, what's over here? Oh. I need to get into over here, right? What is this? What is that? I see something in there. How, how do I get to it? Oh, that's all. That's for me. Okay. What's over here? I might need my gun. This is already annoying. Cool. Anything over here? Bandage. Come on, give me a headshot. 
Let's give me a headshot. Snake, it looks like that door can't be opened from the deck. You can infiltrate the ship through other bitch. doors. Do I see anybody right now? I see his dumb ass. Should have shot him. Should have shot him. You got shot. And count up the end of the fucking year. I'm gonna hate this so much. What you're wielding right now is a converted Beretta M90. Don't care. Saves? Yes, I want to save. Oh, you're not gonna save. Well, okay, just. I forgot that X is the time to save. Cancel. I literally forgot X is cancel. It's it's gonna be a while. Okay, see you, Snake. Second floor. Okay, I can get in here. This is annoying. Attack team, come back at once. Guard team, stay alert.
so that allowed essentially I can hide in a locker and I can also stuff bodies in here oh look ammo someone was nice enough for me oh look ration someone was really nice that uh so sorry kids can't I need there we go headshot go downstairs what's here stone grenade sweet engine room starboard raven Get USP first, okay. Stupid. Get out of here. Alright, so let's get the USP first. Okay. So there's nothing else here, right? Nothing else here. So I'll go down another level. There we go. Got him in the head. I'm good. Is there anything of actual value down here? Got nothing for me. Sad. It is what it is. Nothing here, so just go up. I'm sorry if I'm not talking to much, but it's like I'm getting into the mood of the game. Who's there? Nobody. Nobody's here. You just, you just see anything? That's all. Can I shoot you in here? Oh. 
got him. Is there anything of actual importance over here? Oh, this is just to get a view here. There we go. Nice little tranquilizer to the face. I guess you can't see my ration with, with, with my camera here, but it's fine. Get USB first. Okay. So, could I go the entire game without the gun? Repair of the entrance way to the engine room on the port side is complete. We'll return to position following patrol at the small room on the port side. Snake, wait! Don't move! I see it. Some kind of device on both sides of the hall. Infrared sensors? Right. And they're linked to... Let me guess. Semtex. Exactly. Plastic explosives. If you trip the sensors... I'll be sleeping with the fishes, along with this entire ship. That sounds about right. I'm not in the mood to go sleep with the fishes, but there are too many sensors. Looks like I'll have to find another way. No need to worry. There's a way through. Take a close look. Do you see the thing with blinking green lights right next to the explosives? That's the control unit for the sensors. Destroy that, and the sensors stop functioning. You can't get in close enough to touch it, so you'll have to shoot it out. But your M9's knockout rounds won't work. Find a gun somewhere. Okay. Keep the fucking gun out. I'm gonna have to try a new controller at some point. Get up, you asshole. Get the USP first. Simple enough. Freeze. Move. Come on, do the shake. Fucker. Mm -hmm. oh. There is no what the. You're in a position where I have to get the fuck out of you. Okay. Got him. All right, what's over here? A ration. All right, so all of you guys are sleeping, like children, how you should be. More bullets. Alright, what's up here? Nope. There we go. This is taking quite a while. Taking quite a while. I'm gonna have to save it. I'm gonna call this here. Oh, you need to save? Yes, I need to save. Fuck. I don't even know where I'm going. That's the problem. I really don't know where I'm going. Snake, 
You, of course, know the saying, one for all, all for one. What is this all of a sudden? Oh, I figured you'd need a lot of motivation, so I came prepared. It's from the Three Musketeers. The book, not the candy bar. Anyway, it means that if you go up against everyone by yourself, they'll gang up on you too, I think. Since you're on your own on that ship, you need to take this to heart and avoid confrontations. <laughs> How was that? Just like the old days, huh? Almost reminds me of Mei Ling. But you sure you got it right? Of course. And I'll teach you a lot more of these. You can count on it. Great. Okay. Th that was a nice little thing. But no, he, he got it wrong. One for all and one, all for one is not entirely that. I'll have to look up the actual meaning to it, but just know that he got it wrong. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this series. I'm going to try not to get as lost. It's, again, it's been a, quite a while since I played this game. So I'll try not to get as lost. Try to, I'll try to pick things up in the next video. This one was just like 13 minutes of uh, story, of plot. So it is what it is. Can't be helped. But with that being said, if you liked the video, let me know in the comments down below. I'll keep. I'm gonna keep this 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 series going along with Silent Hill. I was having trouble with Silent Hill, so I couldn't get that up and running. But I want to get this uh, going as well. And with that said, the tavern is now closed. I shall see you all later.